Mr. Chairman, my colleague across the aisle just said, we have the right to defend ourselves. What about our right to live? What about the right of every single person here to have the family member that they lost in a mass shooting? What about that right? It is stunning to me that so many of my Democratic colleagues are able to cite at least one mass shooting that killed a constituent, a friend, a loved one, where an assault weapons ban could have prevented a tragedy. It is also stunning to me that that is probably true for my Republican colleagues as well. They just choose not to speak about those similar stories of their constituents who have lost loved ones. They choose not to speak for the majority of Americans who support an assault weapons ban. This is not a crazy idea that only Democrats support. This is a ban that the majority of Americans support, even in a Fox News poll. Look at these courageous people who are sitting here, who have chosen to take the trauma that you all have experienced and use it to try to stop trauma for other people, to try to stop losses. Listening to that video and the sounds, and I saw your faces, and I know that this trauma has not even lessened or gone away, and I am so grateful to you for being here to speak up on this. At 2 p.m. on June 1st, 2022 in Tulsa, Oklahoma, a shooter brought an AR-15, a gun that would be banned under this bill. Less than three hours later from the time that he bought that AR-15, the shooter used that weapon of war to murder four people, including Dr. Preston Phillips, the father of one of my staffers here on the Judiciary Committee, a man who is a gracious, and loving husband, father, and brother who dedicated his life to his family and his medical practice. I and all those that I represent benefited from his love and his warmth, both during his time practicing medicine in Seattle and through his brilliant daughter and my staffer, our family member here on the Judiciary Committee, Elise Phillips. My heart goes out to all of the families of the four people that were killed in the community in Tulsa that still grieves. This is not an isolated incident. The people that are in this room are proof of that. And they are populated in districts across this country. And in the aftermath of these shootings, in the aftermath of the children who have to be identified by DNA in Uvalde, in the aftermath of, of, Flor of Parkland, of every single mass shooting event that has happened, we feel rage. We feel rage because we're not prioritizing the lives of people, our right to live. The rage that I feel that just three hours, in just three hours, a person can buy an assault weapon and commit a mass shooting while conservative Republicans look the other way. Today, I dare my Republican colleagues to stop looking away. Stop ignoring the tragedy that is faced by people across this country. Stop ignoring the tragedy of your own constituents who have lost loved ones and family members in shootings with assault weapons. Stop ignoring the shooting in Clackamas, Oregon in 2012 that killed two people with an AR-15, the shooting with an assault weapon in Dayton in 2019 that killed nine people and injured 17, the shooting in Marathon County, Wisconsin in 2017 with an assault weapon that killed four people. People. These are all in Republican colleagues' districts. It is our duty to stop these killings. And the assault weapons ban will prevent mass shootings like the ones that our districts, our friends, our families have faced by prohibiting the possession, the manufacture, the transfer, or the sale of assault weapons. And it is shameful to resist or even hesitate to take action to stop the use of these weapons of war in mass shootings of civilians. So for every person who says, I have a right to defend, I say to you, we have a right to live. And your right to defend with a weapon of war does not obliterate our, lot, our right to live. That is the core of why we must pass this bill. And I thank my colleague, Mr. Cicilline, for all of his work on this. 
I yield back, Mr. Chairman. General Lady yields back for what purposes, Mr. Stubbe seek recognition. Uh, move to strike the last.